However, you have to be careful of the cherry blossoms blooming within the schools. What's even more crazy is that some people believe that there will be laser beams coming out of Beethoven's eyes. And welcome to Let's Ask Shogo. It's summer in Japan. And in Japan, summer is often said to be the perfect season for spine chilling ghost stories. I get tons of requests for a video of this theme. And it's a little scary, but I'll do my best. So today, I would like to introduce you to the seven horrifying mysteries of Japanese schools. The mysteries I introduce will get more and more terrifying towards the end. So please enjoy this video till the end. The seven mysteries differ depending on the region of Japan. And some people say that there are actually more than 30 if you count them all. So the seven I'll introduce today are the ones that I heard growing up as a child in Japan. I hope you can search for more mysteries of Japanese schools if you are interested. And also, please let me know about your favorite yokai and ghosts in the comments after watching this video. In this channel, you can take a closer look at Japanese traditional culture, tips on travel in Kyoto, and social problems in Japan. So learners and lovers of Japanese language and culture, be sure to subscribe to enjoy more content. So One, the 13 steps. So let's start from something that's slightly less scary. There is a rumor that stairs in Japanese schools with 12 steps will increase the 13 steps when you climb them late at night. And if you accidentally step on that 13th step, you will be taken to another world. There are others who say that there will be a rope that will drop from above the 13th step for hanging yourself. By the way, I've actually barely counted the number of steps of my school when I was young to see if this rumor is real. But it had 15 steps, so I wasn't able to see the end of the story. <laughs> 2. Hanako-san I'm pretty sure many of you have heard of Hanako-san before. Hanako-san appears in many stories, but when she counts as one of the seven school mysteries, there is a specific way of summoning her. First, you go to the bathroom on the third floor of the school. Then you knock on the doors of the girls' restroom three times each and ask, Hanako-san, are you there? Then from the third compartment, a voice will answer, yes and a girl with a red skirt and a bowl cut comes out to drag you into the bathroom once you are dragged in you will never be able to come out hanako-san is probably the most popular school ghost but how was her story born there are many theories but i'd like to introduce the most common one hanako-san was actually a victim of a horrific crime in 1937 there was a forced suicide incident in an elementary school in Iwate Prefecture. A woman jealous of her cheating husband decides to commit suicide and take all the children along with her. However, one of her daughters noticed something wrong about her mother and stayed at school without going home. There, she was cornered by her angry mother and was eventually killed in the third straw of the bathroom of the third floor. There are various other original stories. A girl caught by a pervert in a school bathroom, a girl who jumped to her death, and so on. In any case, they are all very horrifying and scary stories. By the way, Hanako was a popular name around two generations ago, and was probably a nickname because the real name was not known. That's why she looks like a typical schoolgirl from my grandparents' generation. 3. The Music Room The next, let's head towards the music room. You'll be able to meet a lot of ghosts at night here too. The most famous ones are the moving portraits of famous composers and the piano that plays on its own. Japanese school music rooms generally have portraits of Bach, Mozart, Beethoven, and other famous composers hanging on the walls. It is said that these portraits start to move at midnight. It's not just the eyes moving, but some say that they smile or frown or even cry. What's even more crazy is that some people believe that there will be laser beams coming out of Beethoven's eyes, which moves the objects 
within the music room. There is probably not much of a reason to this bizarre phenomenon. Children were probably simply scared of seeing someone's face in the dark late at night. There's also a well-known mystery in which a piano plays by itself, even though no one is supposed to be there. Some say that it's the ghost of a female student who loved playing the piano, or just some floating wrists, while there is blood dripping from the ceiling for some reason. The most famous theory suggests that For Elise is played. It is said that you will die if you hear that song four times. The number four is considered to be bad luck because it is a homonym to death in Japanese. But I have a question for you. Why on earth would you stay in such a horrifying place to listen to the song four times? You've probably been enjoying the performance, haven't you? Thank you so much for listening to my performance. The concert fee will be your life. Four, the moving statue of Minomiya Kinjiro. Uh, Shogo, can I ask you something? Who the heck is Minomiya Kinjiro? It seems that there are fewer and fewer schools now, but until about my parents' generation, there were many schools that had a statue of Minomiya Kinjiro in the schoolyard. The school that I attended did not have one, but I have seen one in a nearby school in the community. Ninomiya Kinjiro is a statesman, agriculturalist, and philosopher from the late Edo period who is well known to all Japanese. It is said that he rebuilt his fallen family by studying and fighting against social norms as a peasant, and even helped rebuild 600 more villages throughout his life. It is said that as a child, he studied hard even while supporting his poor family. And his hard work was displayed as statues at various schools as a role model for students. While Minomiya is a very much respected figure, among the students in the past, he was actually why another horror story was born. Many students believe that at night, the number of firewood on his back will change, the pages of his book will turn, or worse, the statue of Ninomiya itself will be walking around the schoolyard. The worst thing you can do is count the number of firewood he carries, because it is believed to kill you or get you cursed. Just like the music room we went to earlier, children were basically scared of things with human figures. But this mystery is starting to be forgotten because there are hardly any more Ninomiya statues in schools. What happened? Unfortunately, the image of the hardworking Ninomiya didn't seem to suit the modern way of thinking anymore, as it was criticized as we shouldn't force our children to work, and walking while looking down and reading a book is dangerous because it might promote texting while walking. Even if you're a statue that can freely move around at night, you cannot beat the angry parents. We might not have the statues of Nomiya at schools anymore, but I really hope his stories of hard work will be passed down to the next generation. 5. The Cherry Blossoms of Blood I'm sure many people associate Japan with the beautiful cherry blossoms. However, you have to be careful of the cherry blossoms blooming within the schools. It's because there's someone's body buried under the tree, and that person's blood is what dyes the petals pink. It originally came from a horror story titled Under the Sakura Tree by Kaji Motojiro, a writer who was active from the Taisho to the Showa periods. By the way, there is a way to find out if there is a dead body buried under a cherry blossom tree at a school. On April 4th, 4.44 p.m., if you walk counterclockwise around the tree, the petals will all fall off and turn bright red. But strictly speaking, what changes the color of the petals isn't the soil, but it's actually the change in temperature though. 6. The white and red hands and the red and blue paper. Listening to so many horrifying stories, I'm pretty sure you want to go to the bathroom again. Just now, we said our greetings to Hanako-san, but this time, let's actually use a toilet to meet a different horror. It is the hands coming out of the toilets. The white hand and red hand are ghosts that suddenly touch your bottom when you're sitting on the toilet. These pervert ghosts are believed to appear in the bathrooms on the northern side 
of the school. Just like the number four is considered a cursed number, north is also associated with bad luck because it's believed to be the direction which Buddha's head was facing when he passed away. After doing your business on the pervert ghost's hands, you notice that there isn't any paper. This is when you'll be meeting another ghost the red and blue paper. A voice out of nowhere will ask you if you would like to have red or blue paper. If you answer red, you will die losing too much blood. And if you answer blue, you will be suffocated to death. This mystery is believed to be born from the rituals in the past of making paper dolls of men and women with red and blue paper to worship the toilet gods. By the way, there are some theories in some regions that say you must answer yellow paper in order to survive. I have no clue why though. Do you have any ideas? 7. Take it, take it. Finally, the last mystery. Although she is very famous, I still wanted to introduce her last as the most overwhelmingly terrifying being. Yes, the take it, take it. A female student with only her upper body. She is so called because of the ticket ticket sound she makes as she crawls around the ground with her two arms. What's crazy is that despite having only an upper body, she will chase you at speeds of up to 100 kilometers per hour. There is a very famous story about her. When a male student was walking through the schoolyard to go home, he saw a girl smiling down at him from the window of the school building. Because they thought that she might be a girl that liked him, he was encouraged by his friends to go back to the school building to see her. But when he got to the floor where she was, he found out that she didn't have the lower half of her body. The moment he realized this, she attacked the male student with unbelievable speed, despite the fact that she was only using her elbows. No one saw the male student thereafter. However, it is said that Teketeke herself has a very sad past. A high school girl was run over by a train in midwinter in Hokkaido, Japan's northernmost island. She was split in half upper and lower body. When the police officers were collecting her body parts, they were surprised to know that she was still alive, only with her upper body. Winter in Hokkaido can go as low as 30 degrees Celsius. The cold kept her alive without losing too much blood. However, the frightened policeman put a plastic bag over her upper body as if she was dead. So she is still driven by feelings of grudges and is still searching for the lower half of her body. But this horror story is just a legend. If you are hit by a train running at full speed, you will actually be torn into pieces. And minus 30 degrees Celsius is not enough to completely freeze a large wound. But the part of the story where the policemen get rid of her because they thought she was creepy sounds oddly realistic. By the way, if you'd like to learn more about Tikka Tikka, there are movies and video games about her, so I hope you can check them out. However, I will not take any responsibility if you get cursed. Then lastly, today's conclusion. I introduced the seven horrifying school mysteries in Japan I grew up listening to. One, the 13 steps. At night, the stairs of a school that only has 12 steps were turned into 13, and those who step on it are believed to be taken to a different world. Two, Hanako-san. Hanako-san is a young girl you can meet in the third compartment of the third floor bathroom. If you knock the doors of each room asking if she's there, she'll drag you into the third stall and you'll never be able to come out. 3. The Music Room Japanese school music rooms generally have portraits of Bach, Mozart, Beethoven, and other famous composers hanging on the walls. And at night, it is believed that their eyes move and facial expressions change. There's an even more crazy theory that says that laser beams will come out of Beethoven's eyes, which moves the objects inside the room. Also, there's a piano that plays on its own while there's blood dripping from the ceiling. 4. The Moving Statue of Nomiya Kinjiro Nomiya Kinjiro's statue used to be placed in many schools in Japan as a role model for children because he was a hard worker and saved many people's lives. 5. The Cherry Blossoms of Blood It is believed that the cherry blossoms growing within Japanese schools have someone's dead body buried under it, and their blood is what makes the palace pink. 
Six, the red and white hand, the red and blue paper. If you use the toilet facing north in schools at night, there will be hands touching your bottom. Also, you will hear a voice asking you what color of paper you want, red or blue, and you will be killed no matter what. The only way to survive is to answer that you want yellow paper. Seven, Teke Teke. Teke Teke is a ghost of a female student with only her upper body. And her name comes from the Teke Teke sound she makes as she crawls along the ground with her two arms. With only her elbows, she will chase you at speeds of up to 100 kilometers per hour. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If this video gave you some nice goosebumps, please hit the like button to help me boost this video to more people. And also, please check out our sub channel and membership through the link inside the description box. Thanks again, and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much.